Hello and welcome to a very special episode because today for the first time we are going to be going over the brand new Lumina app for the iPad, perfect for photographers on the go, travel photographers or for wherever inspiration strikes and today we're going to be going over some of the key features of the app plus a few tips and tricks as well. So let's jump in. Okay, so this is what you will see upon opening the application. It will show your camera roll or any types of photo items that you've got stored on your iPad. You need to go ahead and tap on the photo that you want to edit. And then this is the actual application itself. And before we get into the tools that are available to us, what I first want to show you is the different type of editing modes that are available to you in this application. So right now we're on the developing mode and we know that by looking in the wheel in the bottom left hand corner, Right now it's on developing, I can dial this up, I either can then go to the preset modes and I can dial that up again and I can go to the sky replacement mode. We'll go into those in a little bit more detail in a moment, especially the preset mode because those film canisters look awesome. So we're in the developing mode right now. We've got the essential tools that we need to edit any photos whilst we're out on a trip and on the go. So we'll go through some of them in detail. And you'll notice that as we open up each individual panel, that all of these tools have their own designs and they also have their own animations. And not only that, but they also have some of their own sound effects. So this, this whole application is very engaging and very interactive and fun to use for when editing photos on the go. So for example, for an animation, I can scroll this all the way up obviously I do not want my photos to look like this, but you'll notice there's now a glow effect around the exposure tool and the sun gets larger. So there are things like that to keep an eye out for when editing your images. We also have a fan favorite Luminar Neo's Enhance AI has come over to the Luminar app for the iPad. It's a dial so you can affect your image with whatever value you wish and to know what value you are using for your image just look at the top of the photo and you'll see exactly how much you are applying now let's say for example i want to see a before and after of using one tool then i could just use the power button next to the tool if i make let's just make a few quick changes so if I make my changes like this and I want to see the whole before and after, then I can hold on to the image and then that will take me to its raw state and then I can remove and it takes me back to its current state. So those are a few little tips and tricks there for you to see how you are affecting your photo. Let's go to the landscape tool because this is one of my favorite tools actually. Keep an eye on the mountains in, in the right, on the right here. If I add a golden hour, value to it you'll notice that the mountains themselves become more golden and if I add more foliage we're now also adding more trees to the bottom of the mountains and if I add lots of fog then we've also got fog applied to the mountains so again another nice little engaging animation that you can see for yourself when editing your photos I'm going to bring those all the way down of course we don't want 100% on everything all right and we've also got two different ways to make your photo black and white. So I can go up here into the develop and this right here is my saturation. So I can desaturate the image the whole way to go for a black and white look. For a more stylized black and white look, I can go to the monochrome down here based on the Leica monochrome. And this will give me a more stylized look. If you look at the left hand side of my image, because that's where the most color is, you'll see I'm getting different types of looks as I scroll through the colors. So that is two ways to get an image black and white. If you want to quickly edit your images, then we'll go to the preset mode and take a look at these fill canisters. All right, and they've all got their own designs right here. I particularly like the look of color punch hot. All right, and what you can also do is apply the strength in which these presets are applied by moving this dial here at the top. And definitely check out all of these and experiment with these on your own photos. I'm gonna add grace there, looks very good. All right, we've also got some other helpful tools to, for you to use. We've got the 
redo and undo buttons at the top. We've also got crop, which will also allow you to straighten your image as well. And we've also got the erase tool to get rid of any pesky uh, dust spots, which my image does have. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. There's quite a lot. The camera got quite dirty on the cycling trip I was on. All right, so I'm gonna click done there and then it's going to save that. When I'm finished with my edit, I can then share it directly to social media. I can click on this just here. And this will allow you to post directly, let's say I want to post on Instagram, it'll allow you to post directly to a post, a story, or a message. And that's what I mean. This, this app is perfect for those photographers that are on the go and want to share their content whilst they're out on trips. Say for example, you can do so with ease. And if you don't want to share it on Instagram or social media just yet, you can save it directly to your photos. So there we go. That is the Luminar app for the iPad. As always, you can share your creations with us. This time use the hashtag Luminar for iPad. In the next video, I'm going to be doing an editing tutorial using the Sky Replacement Tool. So I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.